Hi, this is Will Cook with the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today I'm going to answer a question I often get from sellers, which is, what do I need to disclose about my house? Willfully omitting information or not disclosing material facts about a property is one of the most common reasons that buyers sue sellers after a closing. California is a very strict disclosure state and we have very strict disclosure laws that states to the best of your knowledge as a seller you must disclose any material fact that you know about the property. This is typically done via a form called a transfer disclosure statement, a TDS, and, and commonly an additional document that's a little more in depth called a seller property questionnaire um, goes along with that property. These are both documents that outline a series of yes no questions and if any responses are yes there is a section in the document to elaborate. So the seller's requirement is to disclose to the best of their knowledge and to answer all of these questions. I'm going to touch on three things that are sometimes missed but are very important to make sure that you disclose. The first thing is if your property is in an HOA, it's important to disclose that to a buyer. And any information you might happen to have about the HOA, the HOA dues, any financial assessments coming up, or any financial condition of the HOA that might be subpar is important to disclose to a buyer. Typically, we do this via an HOA document package that does get sent to the buyer within a few days after opening escrow. But anything beyond that that you may have knowledge of needs to be disclosed on the transfer disclosure statement. The second disclosure item is repairs or defects in the property. So if you have completed repairs, it's important to disclose what you've repaired and what the issue was and potentially how it was remediated. If there are existing defects in the property, it's important to disclose those as well. Think in terms of if you were the buyer, what would you want to know about this property and its history? And disclose, disclose, disclose. We have a saying in real estate that when in doubt, go ahead and disclose the information. And the third thing that I'd like to mention is a federal disclosure statement regarding lead paint. If your property is built before 1978, then you need to disclose that there has potentially been lead paint in the property. And this is done via a document that you fill out and in terms of your knowledge level about the history of the lead paint in the property. And again, this is to the best of your knowledge, but if the property is built before 1978, an additional lead paint disclosure form will be provided to a buyer. These are three general disclosure areas that need to be addressed. Of course, there are, could be other disclosure items that you might need to disclose that have to do with your specific property or situation. And those need to be disclosed as well. The, the, the main idea here is when in doubt, disclose. If you are not sure if you should talk about the flight path nearby or the busy road behind you, when in doubt, disclose it. It's going to be the safest bet for you and will save you a lot of anguish later on or potential anguish later on. If you have any other further questions about seller disclosures, please feel free to reach out to me. Or if you have any other topics or real estate, other real estate questions that you'd like answered, also, please feel free to reach out for those as well, and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.